stick wood for starting the fire. Kindling is the most expensive kind of firewood. So why not produce your own? How are you doing? I'm Martin from Gardens for Life and Bird on Homestead. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prune your uh, willow trees uh, just to make sure that they bush out again. You want to always take them back either to about um, it's kind of a person's height or either you can pollard them high up or so that you keep them out of the way of the livestock. If you don't have livestock, you don't have to worry about that. What we find is if you prune them uh, higher up, they kind of make a nice place for birds' nests. You can see here. Sometimes you get the odd bird's nest nesting in there. And um, usually we like to prune some of, most of them back to about hip height. So this one here, this has been uh, planted here about four years ago. And it is producing a substantial amount of wood every year. So we're gonna cut these back and I'll show you how to. Now, first of all, we're gonna take away all the little ones. We don't really need those, so we're gonna discard them. We're not going to use those as cuttings. All the dead wood is definitely best pruned. We definitely always want to keep a few leaf buds. You can see the leaf bud here. That, that there is a leaf bud. We uh, want to keep those on every branch. We want a few of those so that they bush out more. Now, we'll use the thicker ones, like medium thickness. And you can be used for as cuttings. So we're just gonna prune the whole thing back and then I'll show you the cuttings after. I'm holding the camera in the other hand, so I don't have my chest rig with me. So I have to cut these and let them drop to the ground. And if you see any dead wood, just prune it away. Now, all we have left now is actually the thicker ones. So we're gonna remove those too, just to make sure that they don't leaf out at the very top. We want the tree to bush out and produce nice, good quality cuttings and firewood for you next year, especially stick wood for starting the fire. Kindling is the most expensive kind of firewood. So why not produce your own? Okay. That's quite a diameter. So let me just do this one here. Kind of hard to do with one hand. All right, there you go. And that's what it looks like when you're done. Just a simple owl tree. And that'll bush out nicely again next year or this year, I should say, because it's February now. So in a couple of months time, this is gonna start growing and you're gonna get every branch here, every leaf node is gonna turn into a new branch and you're gonna get a nice bushy plant that's gonna block the wind and give you a bit of privacy if you're planting it as a hedge or shelter belt. Before you go, I'm just gonna show you the cuttings. Hang on. So you see, all of these here can be used as cuttings. We can cut those up into one or two foot long pieces depending on how deep a grass you're planting them into. And I'll just show you how easy it is to plant those. You just um, cut the bottom off at an angle and you cut the top off straight and you take your cutting. That can be a willow cutting. It's extra long now, just because it's for the shelter belt. You wanna make sure people see it and not fall over it. And if you have extra long grass, uh, also it can be beneficial to cut them about two foot in length. And we simply just poke it into the ground. There you go. Couldn't be easier to plant a new willow tree. And um, hopefully this video helped you. And please let us know if you have any questions in the comments below, whatever platform you're watching this on. We are on YouTube, Rumble and Odyssey and on our own website as well, gardensforlife.ie. And if you haven't seen our new YouTube channel, uh, Birdland Homestead, uh, please come on over there and join us. Thanks a million. We'll see you the next time. Bye bye. It's all one tree. That's just incredible. I think this tree is about uh, four and a half years old now. Definitely our best tree. Most productive one anyway. <laughs>